Hey everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Shopify store for multiple products. So if you don't know how to get started with Shopify and how to actually add products into your own store, I'm going to be showing you a very straightforward way on how you can add multiple products seamlessly into your store within just a few clicks. So definitely stick around as we optimize for entire multi-page catalogs. So the very first step to getting started is that we want to head over to shopify.com and then if you haven't already you want to create an account you can get started with the free trial that shopify offers but it only lasts for three days and of course three days are not really enough for you to get started with shopify test the platforms and sell products so go ahead and grab that temporary offer that grants you the three day free trial and then after that you can get any one of these plans right here for only one dollar a month for three consecutive months now it is a temporary offer and shopify can take it away any time so definitely go ahead and grab it before it's too late as for the multi-product store the very first thing that you have to do is to choose the right time for expansion normally i highly recommend focusing really hard on that first product for at least a few months after initially launching your store get super clean on who it resonates with how they use it and what kind of needs arise before and after the purchase but how do you know for sure when the timing is right to start adding additional products? And for that, there are a few key signals. For one, if you notice consumers frequently asking about or attempting to purchase related products not currently included in your catalog, that demonstrates a clear demand that you may wish to satisfy. No sense sending them elsewhere if it aligns with your niche. And secondly, keeping a close eye on overall conversion rates and abandonment metrics that tell you how engaged visitors are. If they are highly interested but drop out before purchase, then additional sensible offerings could nudge more complete checkouts. The very next thing that we must determine is the optimal product catalog size, which is basically how many additional products that you should add to the mix. Is there an ideal count or should you go crazy filling up pages across every loosely related niche? And this really depends quite a bit on the breadth of your industry as well as your capabilities to fulfill the demand if things scale quickly. But some general guidelines would be that in most cases I suggest limiting your entire product catalog to just one or two dozen items when first expanding beyond a single product. Staying focused is better early rather than becoming a jack of all trades e-commerce site. And now that we've covered all the expansion timing and ideal catalog scale details, let's get into the specifics of how to build a compelling focused website information to showcase your new products. And for that, I like to start by envisioning my store structured across five key sections. You've got the homepage for top level value proposition and product positioning, dedicated page for core products, two to four pages for supplementary offerings grouped intuitively and shared site-wide elements like headers, footers, and sidebars, and finally, you've got the backend pages for policies, contact, social proof, and all of that stuff. After that, it becomes an exercise in properly naming and organizing those pages for seamless findability. So if, for example, I started a clothing store, then after establishing my first few products that are related to each other, such as like dresses, skirts, maybe specific kind like wedding dresses, after that, I would expand to more related products in the clothing industry that are currently hot and selling really well right now. And for that, I really like using CJ Dropshipping as the platform that I actually import my products from. Think of it as the Amazon of dropshipping. You basically have to link your Shopify account with CJ Dropshipping. And the way you want to do that is that you want to head over to your Shopify admin dashboard. And then from here, you want to find the app section, search for CJ Dropshipping, install the application, and then we want to go to cjdropshipping.com, create an account, and then connect our Shopify account with the CJ Dropshipping. It's really straightforward and easy to do. And what I really like about this platform is that you can virtually find absolutely anything on it. Across many categories, it's basically the Amazon of dropshipping. You can also find analytics about each product, find the reviews and ratings, and find out which products are currently doing really well and selling with big demand. And that's pretty much how I find related products to the products that I already have listed on my store. And once you've found the products that you want to be added to your store, you just click on list and then it will seamlessly integrate that product that you chose to your Shopify store and import everything that you need to have it added. And this includes pictures of the products, variants, the description, title, reviews, all of that stuff. And all you have to do is just edit the price. So that's when you add your own price in order to make a profit. And as you can see, I just added a few products to my store with a few simple clicks. And I didn't need to waste any time on the description, reviews, and all of that. In fact, I recommend leaving them to the default, but if you wanted to edit them, then you can customize that as well. And now if I go back to my Shopify store, you will see that the products are listed in my store. And if we went to the theme editor, then that's where you can edit how they look like on your storefront. 
You can use sections as kind of templates to rearrange and customize blocks of various types until you find the look that you're satisfied with. And that's pretty much it. It's very easy and intuitive using CJ Dropshipping to expand your store from a single product to multi products within a few simple clicks. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let us know what you think of it in the comment section down below. And if you found it helpful or enjoyable to watch, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow up content that we can create related to Shopify.